Is it SPG Charles Town? That's what's going on in SPG Charles Town. Charles Town. Eight, seven, six, five. Right, welcome to a cold ass morning in Charlestown. And right now I'm about to try and set this gum shield. Right. Ah! You just fucking okay. put your hand in boiling yeah, water. Yeah, just put your hand in boiling water. <laughs> okay, give it a shake. Yeah, then bite on it. We're going to be a tight fit. It's okay. You choke you it. Okay, so after a couple more attempts, we're ready to rock and roll. I am heading over to SBG with Owen Roddy, and we're going to be putting myself through the McGregor Fast Fitness Test. So this is my moment to get the baseline of where I'm at. Now, I'm not expecting to beast this test. I'm not expecting to be super fit and crazy fit. I'm expecting actually probably to throw up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not going to be pleasant. I'm not going to try and look cool. I'm going to have Jake videoing it. This is going to be pretty much vlog style, but it's going to be raw as shit. So you're just going to see me go through whatever the hell I have to go through. So we're going to go now, get some breakfast, head over to SBG, meet Owen, and set this thing off. Literally, just come down the stairs from there where there was a uh, cleaner's cart and stole some bourbons. I'm about to walk down these steps when I was stopped by this. Really? Really, Highland? Are we going to be this stereotypical about things? <laughs> this is our pimp wagon for the weekend while we're here. The cruiser, the bruiser, the big pipping up. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but today what we're going to be doing is called the McGregor Fast and it's a conditioning test. It's to find a baseline of fitness. So it's going to be pushing me. It's going to be hard. That means keeping it simple. Good old McDonald's porridge jam. Porridge is porridge, my people. This is about 45 minutes away from uh, our start time, so it's perfect. The slow burning oats, not gonna upset my stomach. Flat white, so not overloading on the dairy, but that caffeine in there is gonna help. Munch this, back in the car, go meet Owen, tell you guys the exact breakdown of what we're gonna be doing today. Because I couldn't take it there. Right, so we're here and we've got the man known as The Doc, getting things prepped and ready to rock and roll. Um, we've got a 3,000 pound piece of kit here. We've got an, a priceless brain. The, this is when it started to get serious for me. I thought that's what I'd be wearing. Am I on the shot there? Looks like you're on my nipple. No, you're is that on. <laughs> 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 so this is gonna be raw as shit. I'm either, I'm either gonna do okay at this or cramp up and throw up. That, and you're gonna see it. Whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna see. I'm not gonna make this look pretty. I'm not gonna try and make myself look cool. What we are gonna do though, before we do this, is we're gonna stand with the doc and go through exactly what this system is, what it's gonna entail, and what we expect to see in the months to come. But before you see that, you need to see this man, Mr. Conor McGregor's striking coach, Owen Ruddy. What's up? Uh, so it, I don't know, I can't, it's surreal still for me to, to see you every time. <laughs> it still is, I get a bit, I, I love it. Um, but Owen has been kind enough to let me come down to SPG and hopefully we're gonna be here on a regular basis. Mm. We're gonna be doing tutorials. Most definitely, yeah, yeah. tutorials. Put them to his paces. Yeah, and, and, and just having a lot of fun while we do so. So obviously today we have, we brought over a secret weapon, uh, Dr. Julian Dalby, the, the head of the McGregor Fast Program. And um, he's gonna do a ramp test with Lex and uh, check his levels. Uh, I've done this myself. Uh, it's, it's not easy, so it should be fun. It's always, always good watching. <laughs> <laughs> How high do they count? Do they get up into the good 300s? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is to get your maximum power output. We're going to try to get you to put out as many watts as you can just to hit a peak, just to see what your max power output is. And that's like setting our baseline for when we come back to see from Well, just or? exactly. It gives yeah. us a, a benchmark and it also gives us an indicator of just how powerful you are. Or weak. <laughs> just to give you a, a, a rough estimate, at your weight you would be fighting as a, a welterweight in MMA. Elite welterweight athlete in the UFC would typically put out over 1,100 watts. 1,100. So we're so, more likely to be seeing a slightly... 
No, I can't say that, can I? No. <laughs> can't wait, have it. Wait, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they connect into the pedals directly, so you're locked on. Should I pull up? Not to the end, lock. Locked and loaded. <laughs> this is how much you're putting on each foot. Okay. So this display is just showing how even you are. This is your revs. This is the one that you're going to be concentrating okay. mostly on. Thunderbird walk, legs. Yeah, 100. Yeah, it's the same. Look how nervous I am. 105. Yeah. Okay. So 105. Pure adrenaline, fuel. Pure. I might yeah. feel my oh, heart beating <laughs> in my neck. I feel no pain. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to be straight yeah, into it. It doesn't matter whatever way you think you okay. can put a can count out as much as possible. We're hoping for over a thousand we'll counts. In, yeah. And how long am I going for? Just, well, just, just whatever you can peek at. Just keep going as hard as you can and we say stop. Well, it's only going to be, you'll do it maybe in the first three seconds. Okay. Ready? Here three, two, one, go! <laughs> Yeah. 1200? Not just 12. <laughs> I hit 1200? I hit 1200. Yes! Yeah, yeah it's good. That's good. Is that good? That's yeah. good, yeah. Well, the power is there. Power's there, he's got to condition there. it. Yeah, he's got to point it in the right direction. Two, one, and go! go. Ah, you hit that one. 13? 13? Yeah. 13. Yep. Whew! 1300 watts. Excellent result. <laughs> Nerves are going now, and now I'm just enjoying it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that competitiveness right. going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that when you, before you go sparring and someone jabs you in the face. Yeah. And you're like, oh, alright, yeah. That's <laughs> on now. Now we're on, yeah. <laughs> so we've done two, we've got a third one coming up, and you were saying the most important, one of the biggest factors is recovery time, because that's definitely what I lack. Exactly. My heart rate stays high, so. Yeah. The ability to get your heart rate back down quickly. Yeah. So after putting in a flurry of activity, there may be a brief period of, of activity, be it a, a hold or whatever. You yeah. need to be able to get your heart rate back down as, as quickly as possible to recover, to lower your blood lactate. So that's definitely one of the areas we want to see definite improvement in as, as we go along and down this, down this training route. Yeah. yeah. Big little thing is when you start getting lactate build up, don't stop moving because then the blood will pool. Lactic acid sits in the muscle and it stays. You want to, like now, they've, I'm just pedaling slowly here to keep the blood moving, keep it fresh, keep it, the, blood, the oxygen supply to the muscles going. So. That's a little handy hint. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and go! <laughs> really gasky, you got, you got 1078 or something. I'm broken, I'm happy. <laughs> Do you know, I forgot to put the lever forward. Oh, oh no! That was a man. Fault. <laughs> what happened? His first pin resistance is 10. We left on resistance 1. This is Mark's way of really fucking you up. Fucking hell! 3, 2, 1, and go! Oh, nice. So he just peaked at 1400 watts there. There, there you go. Get in! Uh, excellent result. Good power. Thank you. There. But not. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So that's our baseline. So happy with that, maximum output is actually better than expected. And like I said, these are raw videos. If I fail at something, you're gonna see me fail. The whole purpose of this is, uh, I don't intend on being amazing out the gate. I'm trying to get better at what I'm bad at, and that's what I need to be focusing on, because if all we ever do is focus on what we're good at, we're never gonna improve, we're gonna get stale real fast and plateau out. So now this is gonna be the real test. We're gonna step it up into the second part of this training, and that's gonna be much more about longevity. I know I'm pretty good at like short bursts of things. That's never been a problem. My problem is having that gas tank for longer periods and that's what we want to build up and that's what's important for fighters. So the doc is going to take you through what we're going to do now and then you're going to see the raw, vicious, horrible outcome of that scenario. And it will be what it'll be, but this is our baseline. So I'll see you in a sec. One of the first things you do need to know before we start this is this whole thing runs off an app system, doesn't it? So it's super easy. It does. This is the McGregor Fast app. What we are going to do here is we're going to find out what Lex's three optimal heart rate training zones are. So we have a, a green zone, which is his endurance training zone, the orange zone, which is his threshold, his maximum cruising zone, and then the red zone, and that's his maximum power output. Zone. The idea being that we switch between different metabolic systems so that when one system becomes tired we can change over to another. That's perfect because that's exactly what we're trying to, the whole basis of this whole series is about that, that you don't have to be, if you are just this one trick pony, yeah. you're suffering in so many other aspects by not going into those exactly. fields. Yeah. Absolutely perfect, love it. What we're going to do is we're yeah. going to set you off, it's going to start off pretty easy 
and every three minutes we're going to crank it, crank it up. So it's going to go up one, literally one level, which you said is 15 watts resistance difference, approximately yeah. between. Okay. And we're going to find at what point your aerobic anaerobic threshold is. That's the point where lactate starts to accumulate faster than you can clear it. And that's the point where people feel stitches and cramps and things like that. That's yeah, a byproduct of that issue. It is, and that's the point where the training program, the fast training, it's fighter aerobic anaerobic system of training. Yeah. I'm genuinely still nervous again now. I was all right before. I thought that woman would calm me down, but now I'm nervous again. Well, it'll right, start so. off easy. It's just going to get harder. Yeah, I mean, harder. it's going to be what it's going to be, isn't it? It's baseline. Harder. And hard. <laughs> <laughs> you savage. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. 80 reps per minute. Just see at the top right hand corner. Just keep it at 80 reps per minute. Oh, so we're getting it to relax. We want, yeah, we, want, we, want, we want you to stabilize that now. Okay. Right. So one of the things to do on this, try to keep consistent. Try not to move around. Don't get out of the saddle. Okay. Once you start, just try and be smooth. Yeah. Um, so we want the heart rate to be constant. So be on with just two minutes. We'll get you on with a few minutes. What's happening is my heart rate isn't dropping down to the 110 that we want to see. I'm not putting out any power here, and I think it's just the anticipation of training, a bit of excitability, it's staying at like 125, 127 kind of range. And you were saying, obviously, if I was pre-fight or something like that, it's a waste of energy, the heart's beating higher than it needs to be. So this is already a starting point of something to work on. So It's something to learn from. So maybe pre-fight, you might want to have some of your favorite music, relaxation music, yeah, which we something see a lot to of. distract you, just to, because it's going to happen. You might not know it, but without hard numbers on a display like this, you might think that you're relaxed, but the numbers don't the lie. The numbers don't lie. three minutes we're going to crank up the resistance and correlate the resistance with the heart rate. So my only job throughout this is to keep that RPM at whatever you exactly. tell me you to keep it keep at. just keep it at AZ RPM okay. throughout. Now the big question is, my balls are already hurt. <laughs> How bad is it going to be in 20 minutes? <laughs> Yeah, we just started at that, so... So how long are we expecting this to last, roughly, then, Dark? It depends on him, on his fitness level, so as it goes up, we keep increasing the resistance up until the point where the athlete can no longer continue. Yeah. Uh, this can be done on a treadmill, or it can be done on other pieces of equipment, <laughs> but today we're using the walk bike. Your job is just to... Focus on the 80. Focus on the 80. is coming now. Yeah. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. You'll get a nice graph, the textbook numbers for the hour. Good. Rhythm, 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 that's all we need. Another 30 seconds and then we're going to crank it up again. Okay. Come on. But you're looking good, you still look smooth. We can only fail, can't we? That's the worst that could happen. Let's do it. Another 15 seconds and we'll go up again. We do it. Come on, fucker. Come on. Relax. No pain. Rhythm. No pain. Rhythm. Another minute and a half. Feels better. A bit of cool air on me. <laughs> you know, Lex, 
Just one more setting on this machine. Put it on it, dude. Put it on it. I think we'll go for it. Let's go for it. That's it. Just keep it at 80. So you're putting out 170 watts. Good. Last pitch. One more minute, just 60 seconds. 60 seconds, easy money. Last minute, last minute, last minute of work. So let's see, we'll see what the max you can reach in your heart rate. So pick it up to 90 or 95 for the last minute. So let's go, dig deep, come on. That's it, good job. Dig deep, dig deep. Get another few reps. That's it. Down. Stay with it, stay with it, come on. Last 15 seconds, see what, yeah. how many revs you can get. Put, put it there, put it there, put it yeah. there, everything you have, come on. Yeah. Come on, end of the time, let's go. Yeah. Last 10 seconds. Yeah. Seven, push it out. Yeah. Five, eight, yeah. seven, six, five, four, one, one. three, two, one, and time. Yeah. Fuck. One, nine, one nineteen, God. Ah. Job. Well done. Ah, cheers, mate. How was that? That was alright until I stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know until I stopped. Snap you. The coordination goes a bit. That's something else that a lot of people underestimate. Definitely. The fatigue and lactate build up is that your coordination goes, which is very important for a fighter. <laughs> it's not just the muscles that fatigue, it's nerve conduction as well. Yeah. So you may be coordinated and balanced, but when the lactate builds up and when you're fatigued, you're not the same skill level. Yeah. Not quite happy though. We got to 10, got through it. Mm. Good, one, Good baseline. Yeah. Are you happy? Yep, that's nice. <laughs> no. You want to get more gel dock? Do I get, get a lollipop or a sticker? Yeah. Something. Okay, so now, oh, put the hell. Yeah, welcome to the club burn, mate. Oh, that's like jelly legs. Like, would he be doing three days on, one off? Or? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good one. It's like we normally use. And literally, you were talking before saying that this is literally what Connor's using yeah. right now, still as part of his protocol. Yeah. That's and, pretty impressive, and isn't it? We also um, we, we use a periodized system. So okay. your training will increase in steps, it'll reach a certain point, and then we'll back off. You'll have an easy week. So it's, okay. not, it's not all. Yeah. Bad news. You, there, okay. there is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you will be able to see those little peaks uh, and troughs. Yeah. So, so okay. rather than a, a linear progression, we tend to use and make a stepwise progression. So we'll get the calculations in and let you know where I'm at. But this was the, this was the start of the McGregor Fast training cycle, which we're going to take you through from this ground zero all the way through to hopefully stepping through those ropes or into that cage, depending on what comes around first and what opportunities we are allowed to. Uh, endeavor to be a part of so catch you in a minute okay so we have we've entered the test results into the fast zone calculator which the software will calculate out your three optimal heart rate training zones okay. for your endurance your steady state endurance training your optimum heart rate's going to be between 121 and 129. Okay, so when I'm training, if, when I'm in a green zone, that's my heart that's rate your endurance range training. I'm looking for. Exactly. Okay, That's perfect. what you want. There's no, you don't need to go any higher than that. Right. So you're, you're working on burning so, body fats, you're working on yeah. just your endurance. That can be applied to anything. That can be done on uh, running, it can be done oh, on Oh, of course, bike. okay, it perfect. It can be done on uh, the bag work if you're doing the heavy bag. Ah, okay. So this is just a heart rate zone. So your orange zone, that's your threshold zone. Here. This is what we're going to use for the, let's say, the long intervals, somewhere between like three and five minute type training. Okay. Like rounds on the, the heavy bag, we're going to do at this range, 141 to 149. Okay. And interestingly enough, when we got into that heart rate, you actually told me yourself that you could start to feel it. Yeah, it So I think for all these years of training, you actually have a good innate feel for your body and you were pretty close on in what you told me when you felt that lactate was starting to ah, accumulate. Okay. So you actually predicted that yourself. So, Mystic so, Meg. So, so well Mystic legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then our final zone, this is the what, that we're, what we're going to use for the peak power output and the high intensity training. Oh, above, so above 150 above beats. 150. Above 150. And you peaked out at, at 188. 
So 150 is a base, 188 is my peak. Yeah, somewhere between those. Was this 188 me at the end just that was killing you at it? The end, okay. Yeah. So anything from 150 above is what you're going to use for that peak power training. Brilliant. So. And so I'm going to follow on the app what you set me goals to do week exactly, to week. Exactly, yes. Based on, on your personalized heart rate zones, Ooh. you're going to be able to train optimally. So that's interesting actually, as obviously you're, you're a doctor, you're medical, what is your opinion on the fact of overtraining? Is there such a thing or is it just underestimating the, the oh, nutrition? Oh, very much so. It's, it's a, a very, it's real, a very, thing. very real thing. Yeah. And it's the difference, particularly at the higher the level the athlete, it's, it's being able to train at a high level and not overtraining. That's what right. makes the difference. We'll do uh, resting heart rates in the morning, heart rate variability. We, we use a lot of different, we have a, a scorecard that we will use right. for various things to see if you're overtraining rather than just feeling bad on that particular yeah. day. But it, it's a very, very real thing. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. I appreciate yeah. you taking the time to come out and do this and explain it to you everyone here. Well. And hopefully it's, uh, and this is open for anyone to join up to, isn't it? So it is. The any the links and everything, program. the yeah. McGregor file, everything, any links that you need, we'll provide in the description below. And uh, you guys can crack on and join me here because I'm ground zero starting out. So I will uh, hopefully not let you down on this one. No. And, looking uh, forward to big things. Very pleasure. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. And that's it for this one. So we have our baseline. It wasn't easy, but we're not done for today. Later on, we've got some more pad work, which we're going to be doing with Owen, and that's going to be dedicated to improving power, speed, and we're going to actually be looking, hopefully, if, we, if the equipment works, actual output power of my punches, and we're going to see how hard I can hit, how hard he can get me hitting, and whether or not we can become just a little bit notorious. Lately, I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move, had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision. Fuck that, tell them bounce.